Hey guys, what is going on? Fluffy here, and today we are here with something a little bit different. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut game mode C out. Hopefully I don't need to spawn anything in. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. But basically what this video is... Aw, oh crud, I already did forget something. Um, I meant to get all the materials together beforehand, so I wouldn't make this mistake, but then it just dawned on me. Okay, I'm going to need about... I'm going to grab... This is the is not the exact amount of uh, items you'll need, but this is the general amount. Um, I think that's it. I'm probably forgetting something, but we won't know until I get to it. So I'm going to change the game mode S. Now most uh, most tutorial videos are done in creative mode, and but I decided. It's easier to see how to build something in survival when the person doing it is in survival mode. So basically what we are doing here today is building a um, self-repopulating chicken farm. Now, it's not my highly inefficient self-repopulating chicken farm that I did in my Let's Play. Um, this is the highly, or hopefully highly efficient chicken um self repopulating chicken coop now we're just gonna dig out a little i'm gonna say let's go with three by three. Oh, i fell well this is unfortunate god efficiency five why have i punished myself with this so basically i had the general idea set up and i just kind of um i decided to do this Hopefully it helps you guys out as much as it's going to help me out in some future future videos. Okay, so now we've got our nice little uh, three by three hole. Now what we want next is we want to break just this one right here. Um, we need my dispenser back actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoops, that's not right. And I yes. now let's see. All right. So we got our dispenser here. Hmm. I hate trying to place dispensers. There's obviously quicker ways to do this and more efficient ways to do this. At least the setting up the machine and stuff. Probably should have given myself a few more chicken spawn eggs, but nah. Too late to do it now. Um, alright. Oh, and I screwed up again. Building FOV being at max is probably a bad idea. Oh god, everything is so close now. Anyway, um, so now that we've got this set up, what we want to do is we want to put, one, we want to put hopper right here. We got our first hopper, we want to put our second hopper here, then we want to put a chest here, and then we want to put another hopper here. And this will be your basic setup for the um, self-repopulating aspect of this. Now I gave myself two chicken spawn eggs, which is probably a mistake, but you know, we'll get to that when we get there. So now you want to make a little hole here. This, if you want to make it effective in the snapshot as well, because chicken eggs are a little more spastic in the snapshot, you're going to have to set it up where the area around it is kind of walled off because otherwise the eggs will just go flying everywhere and nothing will get accomplished. Now, um, the big problem with this setup is that you don't really, oh, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, it doesn't look good from the surface, for one. I mean, I guess we could probably end up building this underground, but from above it doesn't look good Hold on. anyway we'll deal with that when we get to it okay so the next step is we gotta go down here and there we go okay so let's get back on this um so next thing I discovered now this is only if you want multiple chickens it doesn't harvest them for you you need a different setup for it to harvest for you as well as um I believe this is correct, but I'm not positive. It's been a little bit since I've built this uh, thing here. What I do think is I really should have just not enchanted the shovel because it's highly ineffective for the style we're going for here. So the next step is I think we go right around. Hold on. We go around here. Okay. So 
now that we've got that set up, theoretically, assuming I've built this properly, I'm going to drop that in there. Shoot, yet. Yeah. Oh, God. I have redstone animations off, don't I? Video settings. Animations. No, I have all particles on them, which, on the contrary, I should probably turn off. Let's turn off that, or turn on, back on the, uh, redstone animations, though, because we need that for this. Okay, so... Uh oh I've done something wrong. Hold on a sec. Oh, wait, 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 that's what I did. I think. I think this is what I did wrong. Oh, wait, okay. So, if I did this properly this time, then it should... Okay. Does that need to be set to false? Okay, sorry guys, I've actually kind of forgotten the functioning of certain aspects of redstone. Okay, so that's proper now. And I'm just going to jump up here. Um, so basically, now that we got that set up, we are good to go on that. And anytime an item drops down, it should trigger that, and theoretically... Yeah, it'll constantly dispense items as long as there's an item in the dispenser, which means it'll constantly dispense eggs and which is... Yeah, you get the idea of what's going on there. Let's get rid of that, though, because that tick is really obnoxious. So I fixed that problem. Now, like I said, you just need a few building blocks for it. It doesn't really matter how many you've got. That's why I just gave myself a stack. Um, I had 13 pieces of redstone when I began this, which means... Oh, nope, that's not what I want to 13 pieces of redstone, which means that I used 11 pieces of redstone while building this. Um, it took one comparator, one uh, repeater, and three hoppers, which you can actually use two hoppers. This one I just find more efficient, because it holds extra... Well, I guess you don't... I don't know. Anyway, um, it holds a couple extra eggs, but let's just go one chicken, two chickens. Now we're going to actually go into game mode, because... Like I, I'm not patient enough to wait for the eggs to spawn in on their own. We're going to take a stack of eggs, because a stack of eggs only consists of 16. But theoretically, let's say that the chicken's sitting up here and they lay their egg. Drop down here, and it'll spin the egg out there. And then... Yeah, you get the idea. And uh, every time the chicken lays its egg, it'll drop down into there, and then hatch itself on the wall and there's always that chance that it doesn't drop a chicken but uh, yeah see baby chicken look at that but yeah and it only function and it shouldn't burn itself out ever there shouldn't ever be enough uh, enough oh god I'm really tired there shouldn't be enough um eggs for the thing to burn itself out ever that should not be a possible thing to have happen so basically you'll just end up with this coop right here and the only consequences are because it's not killing the chickens it is la it'll cause lag if you don't continuously run or have it um have your something or someone killing them so let's say like if you i think there's a way that you can make this where the baby chickens will like I don't know um burn when they grow up or something I think there's a way to do that but I'm not sure I don't really work with chickens there's I think there's a way to do it but I'm not in the mood to figure it out this is just a self-repopulating chicken farm compact simple you probably want to have about let's say if you have it in a spawn chunk then probably about you want to have two chickens in here but if you have it outside of a spawn chunk and stuff like that, then you probably want to have between, I'm going to say, um, six and ten chickens, I'm going to go with. Yeah, you probably want about six, between six and ten chickens in here, just to keep it constantly, uh, giving baby chicken spawns here, but if you have that constantly running in a spawn chunk, it doesn't matter where you are on the server, if someone else is on the line, if you're on SMP and stuff, but it will constantly be functioning, 
and you'll be constantly getting baby chickens, which means you'll be constantly getting a food supply. Um, so yeah, that is the, um, the, oh god, guys, this is awkward, I've never done a video like this. This is the uh, self-repopulating chicken farm, compact edition. Um, I highly suggest doing something to make it look better, because obviously this looks horrible. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's simple, simple redstone. Um, I mean, I figured it out on my own. I'll probably be, like, doing some other stuff like this sometime soon. But, yeah, if, if you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to see some more redstone videos, just let me know. I'll figure some stuff out. Um, but, yeah, I built it in survival mode for the sake of you guys seeing it and how it was built in survival mode, because survival mode makes seeing these a lot easier. But yeah, um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Please become a smurf, because, you know, we need my smurfs. We gotta, we gotta battle the jellies. That's, that's our new goal. We must defeat the jellies. She cannot reach more than us. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go now. I, um, I'm going to stop stalling. Bye, guys.